Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to store JSON data in database using Laravel Eloquant. So let's get started with the example and I will explain you how to store JSON data into the database and filter it. Okay, so let me go here and I already downloaded Laravel fresh Laravel 11 application. So let me go here and create one migration for example. So let me go and create like PHP artisan Mac migration create products table okay now if i go here into the database and there is already created one migration so i will simply add the column so i will add string there will be a name okay and then i will add another column that will be a data type json so json data type supported by mysql pg my admin and sqlite as well so if i go here json data type and i will add details as a column name and i will say nullable simply save it okay and now if i go here and let me run the migration php artisan migrate okay now if i go to the database and simply refresh it you can see that products table created and if i go to the structure you can see that there is a json data type okay now let me create one model so php artisan my sorry mac model and product okay simply hit enter and now if i go to the models you can see that product model i will add the column name here so public fillable and i will give the both column name so i will add name and details okay and now semicolon and let me go here and let me define also the cast so that way automatically like details column will be maintained json decode and end code. we don't have to getter and setter we need to use so protected and i will say cast and here we need to just define the column name so i will use the details and what is that so we need to define and json okay so it will automatically json encode and decode the column so we don't have to worry about that so let me go here and let me create one example so i will create the controller php artisan mac controller product controller simply hit enter and now if i go here and let me create one route so use app http and controllers and product controller okay simply save it okay now let me create one route so simply get route and product slash create and i will say product colon colon create and i will say create method save it okay now let me go here into the controller okay and i will create one function here okay i will say create method and here we will create one product using the json so let me go and like create input and i will create array so like name will be the code and then we need to pass details but we will pass as an array so it will automatically json encode and then when we are fetching the data at the time it will automatically json decode so i will add like brand and brand will be like chaffelry okay and there will be a tags tags also will be the array so list of tags i will define here like gold and 24 k and i will say like uh, 180 k and then also i will add like jewelry okay simply define the tags and simply end it and i will simply return i will go product colon colon create and i will simply add that input what we what we have defined okay now if i go and let me use it here app models and product okay simply save it okay now let me go and run again the application okay and now let me go and create a product using that uh, 
route products create if i hit enter you can see that there is a name gold and with the detail like brand and all you can see that here if i go to the database and click on the browse you can see that it already stored like tags and then brand you can see that properly we don't have to do any json encode and when we are fetching json decode so it automatically do it okay by using laravel eloquent cast okay so now let me go and create another record so i will say like uh, silver and i will give the name silver and i don't want 24 carat or anything so i will just call money okay simply save it okay and let me refresh it again okay you can see that it's created another record with the different uh, tags so if you go here you can see that with the different tags and brand okay now let me search this as well how to search with the json so laravel already provide the inbuilt method so let's create another route so let me go here and let me create another route get and i will say product search okay and then i will say product controller colon colon class and i will create search method simply save it now if i go to the controller let me go and create another controller under the method sorry and let me create search method and here what i will do i will simply search the products okay product colon colon laravel eloquent provided uh, where json contains method so you can see that you can use directly that one and i will copy and paste here and here i will be defined like details and which column which key you want to search so i will i want to search the tags and i will say like money okay and simply get and here i will simply return the products save it okay and now if i go here and let me go and click on search you can see that id2 and name the sil silver and you can see that money same thing if i go and if i change like 24k 24 carat and if i go and if i hit refresh you can see that it filters as well so you can see that query builder already provided laravel like uh, there is a wherein and all the things they provided so you can see that laravel eloquent has a cast method that way you can easily maintain your json data uh, into the database uh, if this video will help you then please subscribe us thank you so much for watching